I enjoy being alone. I enjoy being in isolation, solitude. I enjoy having my relationship with God to speak to him whenever. Focus on him. You know, focus on what I need to focus on. Lock into YouTube. Lock into my work. Lock into my craft. What's good, y'all? What is good? Appreciate y'all for tuning into the video, man. I hope y'all are having a blessed day or night whenever you tune tuning in. 28 and alone. Now, before y'all even assume, no, this is not a cry for help. This isn't me telling y'all that I'm depressed or that I don't like being alone. This is the complete opposite. I'm actually here to tell y'all that I enjoy being my age and alone. And I'm not ever alone. I got God with me. I got my loved ones. I got my friends. But majority of the time, I'm by myself. I'm vibing by myself. I love vibing by myself. I love going out to the movies by myself, going out to eat by myself, going outside in nature, even though it's damn near hell in arizona it's 120 degrees right now it's like our winter or my winter so i'm really in the crib but i can vibe by myself a lot of people tell me like they just can't sit with themselves they can't be by themselves they always got to be out and about doing a bunch of things and being around other people i'm the type like i can i can be outside i could be around a group of friends i can be social but my social battery is going to get drained in about three four hours and then i'm in the crib for the next two weeks like, I just love being by myself and I think at times I get too comfortable with it and then that kind of has me in that mode where I just don't want to be social, like strictly anti-social. Like, I'm an introvert and I will forever love being an introvert. I don't need to be around a lot of people. I don't like to be around a lot of people. I like to go outside. I like to do things, but I like to do it by myself. I don't know why it is. I think it's just because at a young age, I've just pretty much been doing stuff by myself, like in my own company, and I and I love it. And you should too. If you watching this right now and you around my age or even whatever age you are and you are alone, you don't got a lot of friends, you know, you're not as social as you want to be, that's fine. Take the time to learn yourself. Take the time to love yourself. Take the time to find what you enjoy doing. Find new hobbies. You know what I mean? Like have fun being by yourself where you don't have to worry about anybody. Not checking with your loved ones, checking with your friends, but you gotta know at times, like, look, if I do MIA, like, it ain't nothing personal, I'm just on my, I'm on my, I'm on my grind. Like, I'm just doing what I'm doing. And I think at times it affects my friendships, it affects my dating life if I'm even dating, like, whatever it is, because I just enjoy being alone. That can be, again, a blessing and a curse. And because sometimes, I just get it to the point where like, I really don't, you won't hear from me for weeks. Unless I reach out to you, like you really won't hear from me. I really just be off the grid and I, and I love that. Like I, I've always been the type to, as I get older, like I'm trying to be away from everybody. I'm trying to be away from the crowd. I'm trying to be away from the metro area. Like obviously right now where I live, I'm in that metro area. But like, if it was up to me and I can afford it, well, I'd be out the way like out the way and just be in my own presence, man, with me and the people who are closest to me. Like, that's all I want. I don't like being up in the mix. I don't like being out and about in the clubs, you know, surrounded by a bunch of people. Like, that's just never been me. And again, that's the introvert in me. I know how to be extroverted when it's time to talk to people and, you know, I can stir up a conversation. I can be social. I can be personable. I, I, I love those traits about myself, but majority of the time, I just want to be in the comfort of my own home chilling out the crib, watching movies, listening to music, eating good food, just really taking the time to love myself because I don't think I've ever been at this point in my life where I've been in solitude and isolation for this long in my life. And I think it's just, again, to build my relationship with God is at a point where I can just find out things that I enjoy doing, which is making YouTube videos, you know, making music, you know, catching up on TV shows. I don't really be watching TV. I really just be sitting here in my own presence, just in my thoughts. And sometimes they can get a little dark. Sometimes they can be positive. Sometimes they can be negative. That's just the way it goes. But I think at this point in my life, I'm, I'm really getting to know myself better than ever. And if you're in this position, like get to know yourself, know your pros and your cons, know what you do well, know what you don't do well, work on your strengths, work on your weaknesses. If you are in a point where you feel like you're isolated, God has you isolated for a reason. He has you in that position because maybe he wants you to spend more time with him. Maybe he wants you to find out something about yourself that you couldn't reveal being around a bunch of other people. Like, I don't care to have thousands of friends. I, I never did. Like, I got people who 
you know, like my right hand, like all the time, no matter what, I can go to them for anything. But I don't talk to them every day. I don't even talk to them every month. Like, I, though, the best type of friendship is when you can go weeks, months without talking, and the second y'all link up again or start talking again, and pick up where you left off. It just, it's, it's second nature. You know what I'm saying? So, I just like being alone. And I know social media always tries to come at people for like, oh, you, you by yourself. Like, you, you off the grid. Like, you doing this. And they say like, if you're a certain age and you're by yourself, it's a problem. Like, what? Not everybody's meant to have a bunch of people in their life. Some people are just meant to be in solitude some people just enjoy being in the company by themselves like i don't know why that's such a big deal and the older i get the more comfortable i get with it now obviously i don't want to be alone for the rest of my life obviously i would love a future wife obviously i would love a family obviously i want a tight-knit group of people who i can rely on who i can you know we all can be in that group motivating each other and just you know making sure we stand on top of the things that you know we're trying to accomplish out here and i and i have that but to be honest, like all my close friends that live in Arizona aren't here. They move. Obviously, my friends are back home. They're back home. The people who I do hang out with, I don't know if y'all got these. These are like the y'all want to go get some food type of friends. Like they're not your close friends, but they're like your if you want to go do some, you know, y'all get together for a little bit. Those type of friends, you know what I mean? Like just people you can be around, but you're not going into those deep deep conversations like you are with your with your real ones and y'all know what i'm talking about so it's like it's okay to be alone it's okay to be alone you got to ask yourself like why am i in the situation like god's putting you in that situation for a reason i've been in isolation i've been by myself and i'm and before it used to be so uncomfortable when it was for a long period of time but now i'm like it's just season sometimes i'm you know, busy, I'm hanging out with a lot of people. Other times I'm really chilling for months on top of months on top of months. And me being by myself is just allowing me to travel by myself. It's allowing me to pick up new hobbies, like I said, and I truly enjoy it. Like I do not get bored. Even when I'm bored, I'm still having fun. I don't know if that's any of y'all, but that's me. So don't feel bad if you alone. Don't feel bad if you don't have a lot of friends. It's okay, you don't need a lot of friends. You just need a couple good people who you can trust and trust is the biggest thing because out here in this world you know it's hard to earn it's hard to really trust people like they gotta earn it you know what i mean but i and i'm learning as i get older like i give everybody the benefit of the doubt so you give me a reason not to to give me a reason to doubt you, you give me a reason not to trust you but i really keep my circle small i really enjoy being in my own presence and if you bring me peace you will be in my life if you all about the drama, you all about the, you know, talking about other people and you're gossiping and all that, stay away from me. Cause I don't want to be around that. I don't, I don't want the drama. And I think that's why I love being alone because I don't, I'm not in any drama. I don't have no, I don't have any problems with other people that I know of. I really just be on my own time. You know what I mean? I always check in with my friends when I can and when I feel like it's necessary. You know what I mean? They check in with me. I feel like that's okay, but sometimes I just be going off the grid and I be chilling and it be amazing. Take the time to enjoy being alone because there's gonna come a point in time where you're not gonna have that time back. Like, life is gonna happen. You know, you're gonna have a family probably. You know, you're gonna have more responsibility as you get older. Like, that's just what it is. So take this time now to enjoy it because you may not get it back <laughs> as much as you have it right now. So enjoy being alone. I enjoy being 28. Yes, I'm 28. I'll be 29 at the end of this year. I enjoy being alone. I enjoy being in isolation, solitude. I enjoy having my relationship with God to speak to him whenever. Focus on him. You know, focus on what I need to focus on. Lock into YouTube. Lock into my work. Lock into my craft. Like, you either got to ask yourself, if you're in a situation, lock in. There's a reason why. There's a reason for everything. But you really got to just lock in. If you can't be with yourself, you can't do things by yourself, you need to look yourself in the mirror. You need to ask, why is that? Because it's not alarming, but it's just something that you really got to pay attention to. Can you do things by yourself? It may be uncomfortable, but that's how you grow. I used to be so scared to go to the movies by myself. I used to be so scared to go out to eat by myself. I used to be scared to do whatever by myself. I always felt like I needed a group of people or somebody to be with me. Now, I, re I really don't. If somebody's with me or I'm with a group of people, I'm honestly kind of annoyed because I got to have people around me who reflect what I stand for. You know, you got to have a friend group who, 
you know, when all y'all together, y'all are on the same page, y'all, you know, agree. You may have disagreements, but you know what I mean? Like y'all just, who you are with is who you are. That's what I always say. Like whoever I'm around, like they represented me as I'm representing them. I'm not gonna be out here embarrassing them, causing any trouble. I'm, we're just, we're just vibing all together. So, you know, make sure you take that into account. But like I said, if you alone and you watching the video, you are good. <laughs> it's okay. Learn to enjoy being by yourself. I ain't saying you're going to be by yourself forever. It, nothing ever lasts forever. You know what I mean? But for the time period that you're in, for the season that you're in, enjoy being by yourself. Enjoy being alone as I am. I'm loving every second of it. I wouldn't want it any other way because this is the way God has it planned in my life. So I'm just chilling. I'm enjoying it. And when it comes to a point in time where I, you know, again, I mean, a season where I may not have all this time by myself. I'm going to look back and be like, damn, I'm, I wish I did more by myself because now I don't really have the time. So enjoy this time alone. Enjoy this time by yourself. You're never alone. You always got people around you. You got God with you. you never alone alone. But you may be in a season right now where you just, you just vibing by yourself. That's it. Simple as that. But I love y'all, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Stay blessed.